So let's start looking at, let's look at multiple bubbles. Um, when you're editing a text file, you often are just working on one file at a time. Right? If you're writing an essay, you're generally just writing one essay at a time. Um, but when you're coding, it's helpful to be able to look at multiple files at the same time. Often you'll have a header file that implements some interface, and you'll want to be able to look at that while you're working on another file. You'll have two files. It's like a client and a server, and you want to keep dancing between them because you're editing codes on both apps. Emacs supports all of this. Emacs essentially lets us divvy up the screen into multiple sub-windows that can then hold different files and that we can bounce between. It actually lets you divvy it as many times as you want. And the divvying is done by essentially subdividing the screen in half in either the horizontal or vertical direction. And then if you do it again, you can subdivide a subscreen, so on and so forth, it becomes recursive. So this may not work great, it should work okay. It'll work better if you don't have a tiny screen like I'm working in right now. It'll also work better if your computer didn't just freeze. <laughs> All right, so while I reboot my computer, does anyone have good jokes? Anyone have questions they were too afraid to ask before because I was just on like a nice roll and you didn't want to interrupt me? How do you save the file from within the um, application without closing it? Uh, control X, Control S, okay. or Control X, S. If you don't do a Control F for the second S, it'll save every file you have open mm -hmm. and it'll ask you each time to press yes. If you do Control X, Control S, it'll just immediately save whatever file you're currently typing. All right, anything else? How did you say to change the mode? Like you said, fundamental means it's just the general we have yeah. to do this. Oh, I will okay. show you. Uh, it's somewhat rare to change it manually. Uh, it's normally, it'll, it's pretty good about intersecting what oh. kind of file you're in. So if you open up a file that ends in .c, it's going to go into C mode. Okay. If you open a file that ends in .py, it'll go into Python mode, so on and so forth. You can manually force it to a mode, uh, but that's used pretty rarely. Uh, we'll get into text-specific editing here as soon as my computer watch my Anything else? The reason for the second screen is that the, file, the user does not have the keys to the file. So if you see what we it works. OK. I can fix that later. Um, I forget it, like, yeah. So you probably don't, 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 don't make pseudo Emacs your standard way of running Emacs, right? Because there's a reason you don't want to be in a pseudo context for too long. Um, the reason that's true is because, yeah, I, I, know I, I know what the issue is. There's an Emacs configuration file that gets created the first time you open Emacs. So when I first opened Emacs on the VM, I must have opened it as sudo. So when it created the config file, it created it as root. And now it can't read its own config file, so it goes to that extra screen. We can, uh, we can fix it afterwards. Are you using the VM from this semester? Yeah. Oh, I fixed that already. Right. Um, OK, I, I can show you to fix it. It's an easy fix. Afterwards. OK. before I actually save the file. Emacs actually creates temporary backups for you every few minutes. You will notice that at the bottom of the screen, it's telling me it has auto-save data. Do I want to restore it? Um, if you're lucky and something like what just happens to me happens to you, this will also happen. And Emacs will have a more recent auto-save version. <coughs> when you get something like this, do what it's telling you to do, right? Unless you know for some reason that you don't want to have more recent data. So in this case, it's saying MX, like we said, M means alt. So it wants me to do Alt X. If I do Alt X, and then I erase the command. Um, yeah. Okay. So if you do Alt X, you get this little prompt at the bottom of the screen. This is essentially where you can type in Emacs commands that don't have hotkeys. So Alt X always opens up the prompt. And if I wanted to restore the file, I would type in the command it was telling me. I don't remember what command it was telling me. I would get on Google right now and look it back up. Do it was recover this file. OK, just like that. OK, so I think so. like many things in Linux, this also has autocomplete, which is helpful in a situation like this. So if I do recover and I hit tab a couple of times, it's going to show me every possible completion. 
Uh, so recovery is right. It is this file. And now it's saying, so I want some confirmation. Recover auto save file, yes or no. I will type in yes. And apparently I recovered the file, which doesn't actually look that different from what I had before. But conceivably, if I had a lot of stuff I hadn't saved, this would now be showing me the difference. All right, slide track. So um, like many things in Emacs, don't be afraid to Google. Also, don't be afraid to leverage that autocomplete, especially when you're typing a command. 